good everyone it's your boy gully yesterday i put a post on youtube asking what a video we should react to next and uh one of our subscribers and good friends had uh commented and said we should react to the tory lanes and august alcina video so i was like yeah that might be the move i'm gonna look at it i heard a little bit about it didn't read too much into it you know what i mean you know, it's not for me to talk about, but you know, we all got our opinions. So we're about to watch this video and without any further ado, let's get into it. Business online, oh, brother. Like and you, but what is? You knocked his ass out, Tori. You knocked him out. Tori said he just knocked August out. See the ass right out. One punch, crunched him, Tori. Yeah, that's what you said. 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 Yeah, that's what all I'm saying is, is, you know, the man doesn't have to speak to you. You know what I mean? If he felt disrespected, yeah, he should have said something to you, you know, like a man, like an adult, instead of just walking past you, you know, giving you the silent treatment or some shit. I don't know what the hell he was on. But at the same time, you can't just go around just beating up people because... They didn't say anything to you, man. Just keep it pushing. Y'all both got money. Y'all both making money. You know, he famous, you famous. Y'all got bigger things to worry about, you know, than this little petty beef about a one-liner about Jada Pickett's ass. Like, for real. Wrong. Tory Lane versus August Alsina. This is the beef nobody expected to happen. And it's so sudden because this beef came out of nowhere. Now, if you don't know Tory Lanez, Tory Lanez is like five foot something. I don't know, 4'11". I don't know his height, but, but Tory Lanez is short. But at the same time, Tory Lanez is real aggressive. You can see like video with Tory Lanez when he played basketball. And there's a video on the internet of Tory Lanez approaching somebody. Tory Lanez get real aggressive at times. And yeah, like that. apparently what right happened there. was Tory Lanez knocked August Alcina out. And then once he hit him, Tory Lanez security finished the job. Now, August Alcina posted pictures of his lips all bruised up. You can see the damage that was done. Then August Alcina went on social media to talk about the situation. Now, initially when the whole thing happened, Tory Lanez tried to play it off. A lot of people was asking him what happened. He said nothing happened between him and August Alcina. He denied the whole incident. But August Alcina went online and he talked about the incident. He had pictures, he showed his lips busted up. He had a whole long winded paragraph type thing that he wrote to Tory Lanez. And August Alcina, Alcina basically said that all oh, Tory Lanez approached me. He, he basically went on social media and snitched on Tory Lanez. He went on to say how Tory Lanez beat him up and that he's a sick person and that he's in bad health. Basically trying to say, oh, it's because of his health that he got beat up this bad or whatever, I don't know. But August Alcina went online and he tried to um, make Tory Lanez look real bad for beating him up. Tory Lanez didn't talk about the situation. Tory Lanez didn't say nothing. And next thing we know, the video footage comes out. And after the alleged beatdown took place, you can see Tory Lanez, you know, he pumped up, he hyped. The fans are saying, oh man, you knocked him out, Tory, you did that. And then Tory goes and he give a dab to the fans or to whoever that person was that was hyping him up. 
Now, this doesn't look good for Tory Lanez. And one of the reasons why it doesn't look good for Tory Lanez is because right now he has a current case going with Megan Thee Stallion. And that was one of the things mentioned hey, with the crowd when they was there. They was trying right to tell him, don't do it, Tory. You already shot Megan Thee Stallion. You and after the fight, that's the main thing that the, um, other people are bringing up. A lot of people are bringing up, like, why would Tory Lanez do this when he know he has an ongoing case with Megan Thee Stallion? Well, the L.A. District Attorney quote one of the same thing. Even though this whole incident happened in Chicago, according to DJ Academics, the Los Angeles District Attorney is trying to get involved in this Tory Lanez fight that happened in Chicago. They're trying to get charges pressed against Tory Lanez for that incident. So after the alleged incidents between Tory Lanez and August Alcina took place, a lot of people on social media began talking about it and Tory Lanez began getting a lot of backlash from the incident. TMZ did an interview with comedian Rip Michaels and he had to say a lot about the incident between Tory Lanez and August Alcina. He basically confirmed that, you know, an altercation took place and that to both Tory Lanez and August Alcina were involved in that Tory Lanez basically attacked August Alcina and that Tory Lanez is kicked off the tour because they didn't want that kind of energy going on forward. So, let me continue. So at this point, if anyone's not a part of that vibe and that energy that's bringing anything, then no, we will not have them a part of anything that we're doing. So Tory's not going to be on the tour moving forward? At this moment, no. At this moment, we, we'd have to proceed without him because we want to make sure that every person in that audience has a great time and a great feeling and that synergy of each artist enjoying themselves and having a great time is what it's all about. There was no fight. Let's be super clear. There was no fight. I don't know why people say it was a fight. That was not a fight. He was sucker punched by Tory Lane. So that's pretty much what, yeah, I was there. It was when he was acting in the building. So it was just straight. After the incident happened, Tory Lanez went online and he denied the whole incident ever taking place. He said nothing happened between him and August Alcina. And I can understand the reason why Tory Lanez would go around and say that because he knows he have an open case with Megan, Megan Thee Stallion and this could possibly affect it. You know, if you're going around attacking people or even involved in assault and you already got a case going on for an assault, alleged assault, this won't look bad. And we all seen the backlash that took place after the incident with people on social media, home getting kicked off the tour, and the LADA trying to press charges on home or trying to figure out what happened over there and trying to get the video. So what do you guys think about the situation between Tory Lanez and August Alcina? Who do you think was in the right? Who do you think was in the wrong? Do you think Tory was right? Or do you think August was right? Do you think August was right for brushing him off? Or do you think Tory was right for coming back and seeing what's going on? and addressing the situation based on his energy. Let me know in the comments. Yeah, y'all let me know in the comments below who y'all think was right or wrong. Me, myself, I think Tory was wrong all the way. You ain't got to put your hands on the guy just because he ain't had no words for you. You feel me? But y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments. Don't forget to like, subscribe. And in the meantime, I'll holla.